some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Seminole County, Florida with Zacky Boy, a.k.a. Liberty Troll, as he ends up getting trespassed from uh, a school board building because, well, he just doesn't seem to understand uh, the school safety uh, zone laws or anything else of that matter. I mean, he's not a very bright boy. Maybe he should have stayed in school longer. So uh, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and watch Liberty Troll whine and cry about uh, his rights being violated even though he doesn't even understand what they are to begin with hi uh i don't think so thank you though okay, human resources over here Seminole County Public Schools, Human Resources. Nothing going on in here. It's a nice shot of the flag there. One second. Very nice. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry? Did you, did you, did you go in the building? Yeah, yeah. I want to check out all the public areas in the building. Yeah, my name, my name's Zach. Just put Zach on there. It's fine. No, I need your ID. Oh, no, I'm not willing to give it. I didn't bring my ID with me anyway. I didn't drive, so. Right. You know, Zachy boy, uh, someone who doesn't exactly bring their ID, such as yourself, must have something to hide. Gee, I wonder what that could be. Be. I know it couldn't have been that you are the president of a chocolate chip a cookie factory or something like that. No, 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 no. It couldn't be that, now could it? Is that is that like just the policy you guys have here? Okay, so it's not like against the law, right, to continue on without an ID? reason I ask is because there's a Fourth Amendment that we have. We don't have to give up that private information. You know, for Auditor, if that were truly the case and it were a violation of your Fourth Amendment right, you would think that there would be a Supreme Court ruling that would say that, that it was a violation of your Fourth Amendment rights. But there are no uh, Supreme Court cases that say it is a violation of your Fourth Amendment rights. If you think there are, then, well, please provide a citation for your argument. Otherwise, you're just a gibbering idiot at this point. Oh wait, you've always been a gibbering idiot, especially in the days that you were hanging out with uh, Sean Karen uh, about 15 years ago, you know? The days when you were his little butt buddy, his little personal servant, you know, those days? Yeah. I see some public restrooms over there. I'll be right over here if you need me, ma'am. Lots of cameras everywhere. Hello, how you doing? Oh, excuse me. Is this where you make payments? For what do you what kind of payments do you guys do here? Excuse me. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, anything that you need to pay for the county. Okay, anything? Like what's uh what would be an example of something somebody comes here to pay? Would it be like yeah. I I, I record any interactions I have with government. <laughs> I'm doing a little story here on the school board. Yeah, so what kind of just like what's one example somebody comes here to, to pay in person? Employee badge. Yes. Employee badge? Okay. Fair enough. That's all I needed. Thank you. I'm sorry? Can I help you? Hi, who are you? I'm, I'm the executive secretary in HR. Oh, I'm Zach. Nice Hi. to meet you. What's your name? My name's Sandy. Nice to meet you. You're filming. Yeah, recording. Okay, so you need to sign in at 
the desk. It's stated on the door. It's also stated. Yeah, I, I told her I don't mind signing in. I just don't want to show ID. I don't have my ID on me anyway. You have to show ID to sign in. Well, I was asking her if, if that's a law because we do have a Fourth Amendment. We don't have to give up the information in a public building. You, you know, Zachy boy, uh, a journalist would understand the fact that they uh, require photo IDs within a place like this, a school board, because, you know, uh, this place deals with children and... Uh, yeah, well, the fact is there are uh, people out there who are on the SO list and, uh, well, would not be welcome in a place like this. Uh, so, th which leaves me the question, and I know you're not one of these, but you're not a diddler now, are you? I mean, the fact that you're not wanting to show your ID in here and are being quite suspicious leaves me to believe that, well, uh... You're here for uh, nefarious purposes other than journalism. I mean, that's the kind of thinking these guys have. I mean, and it's only fitting because, like I said, it's a place that deals with children, you moron. You do need to sign in. It's a safety and security procedure. Yeah, yeah, signing in is totally different than showing ID. I'm, I'm okay you with signing in. That's fine. Okay, if you'd like to wait up front, I can get safety and security down here, and they can go over it with you. I'm Our, not safety and security, oh, let's, let's but you can wait up front. <laughs> Hey, how can I help you? Hey, how you doing? I don't need any help. Who are you? I'm with Summer County Sheriff's Office, School Safety and Security. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. So, yeah, I just came in. She said I need to sign in. I said, I don't mind signing in, but she said you need to show ID. I said, I don't want to give up my Fourth Amendment. Yeah, so for to get into, similar to getting into any school, um, in order to gain access to the building, you have to provide your ID. Yeah, that's, that's a Fourth store. Amendment. Yeah, that's a Fourth Amendment yeah. violation. You know, Zachy boy, uh, a journalist would understand the fact that they uh, require photo IDs within a place like this, a school board, because, you know, uh, this place deals with children. And, uh, uh, well, the fact is there are uh, people out there who are on the SO list and, uh, well, would not be welcome in a place like this. Uh, so, th which leaves me the question, and I know you're not one of these, but you're not a diddler now, are you? I mean, the fact that you're not wanting to show your ID in here and are being quite suspicious leaves me to believe that, well, uh, you're here for uh, nefarious purposes other than journalism. I mean, that's the kind of thinking these guys have. I mean, and it's only fitting because, like I said, it's a place that deals with children, you moron. So is that a, is that a policy? Yep. Okay, so it's not a law. So as law enforcement, is the only thing you should concern yourself with is the law, not policy, not feelings, not any of that stuff. Because you're not policy enforcement, right? You're, you swore an oath to the Constitution, not policy. Well, I'm also school safety and security for this building, so mm -hmm. I'm just—I mean, you're fine. We can have a conversation. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind signing in. That's fine. I just don't okay. want to. I just don't want to show ID because okay, it's not. Oh, but you dumbass! It certainly is law in the state of Florida to identify yourself on a uh, school property per the Jennifer Lunsford uh, Act of 2005, you dipshit. Yeah, you see, uh, that law was passed back in 2005 to protect children from uh, SOs and everything like that, which includes having to show photo ID every time you enter into school property, you uh, freaking moron, uh, just so they can protect the children. I mean, come on now, dude. Get with the freaking program. Uh, taking pictures of video, going to all the public accessible areas and all the public okay, well, offices. You have hit your max for that, so. So what other offices do you have here in the building? We have a variety of offices, but I don't. So, you, so what, what services do people come here besides this lady right here, cashier, to pay for something? Like, what other offices do you guys have here? I'm sorry, I didn't get this your name on that. I'm Sergeant Dwayne Jackson. Are you Sergeant? Yes, I okay. am. Okay, it's yeah. hard to tell because you guys not the typical uniform here. No. <laughs> So this is a school district administrative building. I'm aware, yeah, it's public. It's a public building. It's taxpayer funded. So basically, the way it works, the way the law works, okay? We're not talking about policy right now. We can talk about policy if you want afterwards, but the way the law works is you have public buildings that are funded by taxpayers. So anybody who's a taxpayer can come in here, access anything that's public, right? So in the court of law, like you can go into areas as so long as there's not a sign that says, you know, restricted area or something that says that you've passed the, the sign for public. What does the sign say exactly? 
Okay, so that's one of the things I look for are signage. Another mm-hmm. thing I look for is public restrooms and other pub- there's public restrooms right here to your, right, right over there, actually, correct. Correct, yeah, right over there. Yeah. Um, but that way you see you can't go past that spot, but you can't go to the public restrooms unless you go past that sign. So it's not really a restrict, this isn't restricted. A restricted area by law is an area that is non-public form. So basically a non-public form is an area that is designated by the by the staff in the building or whoever comes up with that. Um, that is not open to the public at any time for any reason. So once you once you allow one member of the public in here, it's no longer a restricted area. So Oh now that is so dumb, Zacky boy. I mean, first of all, you did destroy your own argument by saying that the uh, people who run the building can designate it as a uh, a non-public form, traditional public form, or whatever. And, uh, well, that pretty much destroys your argument right there. Second of all, it's a totally uh, BS that just because somebody who's not employed there walks into a, uh area of the building that is secured, whether they're escorted or not, that automatically means it's public. No, it doesn't. You need to show the laws that state that, dude. Otherwise, you're once again full of shit because when you say something state something you actually need to provide a citation i mean that's just well a standard fare if you're going to be honest about anything appointment or not signing or not that's not against the law okay so all right is there anything else i can help you with no i didn't need help you came to me so i just wanted to inform you what the law is versus the policy that's all all right thank you thank you where are you going uh, I see what's over here. This looks like a cafeteria. That's a cafeteria, right? Yeah, it's like a hard lunch room. All right, so this is community involvement. Do parents go in there or anybody? Yeah, parents who sign in go in there. Okay, so it's open to the public. Again, we're properly posted. You're subject to search. If you come into here, you have to sign in. There's signs listed out front there. No, that's, if I don't want to give up my identity, that's that's me invoking my fourth amendment. You, but you're not. Yeah. You suck! But, gain access but I'm saying if, they, if I gave my ID, I could come in here, correct? If you have an appointment and checked in, they vet everybody through the front well, right there. You don't schedule appointments to take pictures and video in public office. That's not one of the options to choose from. Okay. <laughs> this is a First Amendment no protected access. activity. So, so Sergeant, what again? Joanne Jackson. What's your badge number? Uh, or identifier? 1503. Okay. So I'll just give you a heads up now if you guys violate my First Amendment rights, what's going to happen is there will be a civil lawsuit. You guys will, your ladies will lose your qualified immunity and I'll have to see you guys in court. I'm just letting you all know up front. Okay. All right. Oh, blow it out your ass, Howard. Because if I was here intending to do that, I wouldn't say anything, right? I'm, I'm trying to educate you guys, let you know that this is, this is First Amendment protected activity. So it's not against the law. That's the only thing you all should concern yourselves with. It's not, you know, it might be a violation of your all's policy, but it's not a violation of the law. Do you have students who attend public schools? Like Sorry? Do you have students who attend public schools? I'm not going to answer that question. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's Zachy boy. Let's not forget the uh, school safety zone uh, law that Florida has, which basically states anybody who's not allowed within that school safety zone, which is designated at 500 feet, cannot be within that area during the school operating hours if you are not allowed to be there. And it has been made clear that you are not exactly welcome there at this point. Joey Surreal Camera learned about this law, or I tried to educate him on it, but he won't listen to somebody like me. But, uh, well, he learned the hard way anyway. So, dude, if you're fishing for a lawsuit, I don't think you'll get one in this case because your understanding of the law is quite, well, limited to say the least. I'm a member of the public. I pay taxes. That's all you really need to know. Did you hear what I said to her? If you guys violate my First Amendment rights, I will see you in court. You lose your qualified immunity. Dumbass! 
You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. It's, it's a constitutionally protected activity. It's not something you need an appointment for. You don't need an appointment to exercise rights. <laughs> for the same reason, you don't need permission to exercise your rights. That's why we live in a free country. It's not the permission society. It's a free society. So hopefully I'll get that. But I'd like to gain access to this office because it's open to the public. It's not open to the public unless you've signed in and you have an appointment, as I stated. As I already went through this with you. Okay. It's not against the law. You guys are, so you're, you're saying you're policy enforcement at this point. Did you swear no to the Constitution? It's a serious question. I mean, that's, that's basically the job description of your role as, a, as, a, as law enforcement. Well, you see, Zachy boy, uh, there's this little thing called the Tenth Amendment that grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. Now, with that being said, I've already covered a couple of laws that are not exactly covered in the Constitution regarding the safety of children in the uh, school system. And therefore, uh, I've established that, well, you are definitely in the wrong at this point because you are in a school safety zone and you are... Uh, not showing your ID at this point, which is required by law, according to the uh, act that I mentioned before. So, number one, you're breaking the law uh, as far as uh, not showing your ID on school grounds. And number two, you are trespassing on school grounds during business hours. So, dude, you're a failure on all fronts. Are you guys from the sheriff's office or the police department? It's from the sheriff's office. Sheriff's office. Where's that located? 100 Esslinger Way, Sanford, Florida, 32773, right down the road. All right. I'll be going there next okay. to file my complaints if you guys continue to prevent my freedom of travel. And I do consult with an attorney before I go into a building to ask a bunch of questions about what I'm talking about. So I do know what I'm talking about here. This is something that you're standing on shaky ground by keeping me from going into a public office. You're not going upstairs. Can you stop being childish? Why are you being such a petulant child? That's so immature, really. What is showing you my ID going to tell you about my intentions of being here? Nothing, right? You're not going to know me any more than you do now if I show my ID. Gotta be quick with me. You do not have permission. <laughs> I don't need permission. I have the Constitution. This is a public building. I pay taxes here just like everybody else. Dude, at this point, uh, I think you're projecting uh, your own faults onto this uh, officer right here, considering that you are the one who's acting like a spoiled, petulant little brat of a child as uh, you try to uh, force your way into areas of the building that uh, you are not allowed into just because you have this deluded belief that you're somehow above the law and above everything. In this uh, building, I mean, are you some kind of special person? Some kind of, uh, well, yeah, I'm not going to go ahead and get into that. I mean, that just go way too far in this particular case because I'd, uh, well, be comparing you to special needs children who, uh, well, are, well, smarter than you. You know, this is going to go on the internet. You're going to be super embarrassed later. My videos get tens of thousands of views. Sheer fucking hubris. Kelly. 
Pretty sure I can outrun you if I wanted to. <laughs> well, I said he was a child. Now he's playing games like a damn child. So let's just skip this BS and get to the part where uh, they start to escort him out of the building. Many, many minutes later. If I was to question for you. If I was to show ID, what is that going to tell you guys about my intentions and stuff here? Like how? You don't have an appointment here in the building, so you can't go beyond where the public is even. Yeah, but you don't need it. I know, but you don't. But you don't need appointments to exercise rights. No. I don't know. We're all just standing here. I'm just standing okay, here. I thought maybe it's corner. Yeah. Right. No. Like a whole just hanging out. Okay. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good, man. Good. So just so you know, one way or the other, I am getting in that office. I will be getting into that office. Wow, dude. Uh, could it be any more clear that you have the intent to trespass anywhere that you're not allowed? I mean, uh, this will look real good in front of a judge now, wouldn't it? And once you're educated, Sergeant, I would appreciate if you you know, owned up to your mistake afterwards and apologize. Because this is just, this is just childish. I mean, honestly, it's not a big deal. People are getting workouts today. Where's that sign you were talking about? Oh, this one, I saw that sign. No, there's another one over here, too. What does it say? Well, people know what's going on. Take a look. Right. Well, I don't want you to block me from coming back. <laughs> no, no, I'm not blocking you. Go You already have three run over here. Okay. On this point, you must wear an ESC or a school name tag or sign in at the front desk. Yeah, I mean. How's it going? Good, good. How are you? Could be better, man. I'm trying to get I'm trying to gain access into the public public offices in the in the building without an appointment or giving up my fourth amendment <laughs> mm. Brains! Brains! so what do you do here i do uh badges background checks fingerprinting question um anyone who comes in here and gives up their id do you guys do background checks on those no no okay so uh, for employment, right? Or it's for employment, or if you're a vendor, anything like that. So if you're just like someone off the street, um, like myself, sure. like a taxpayer, if I come in here and I want to be, you know, visit the rooms and I show my ID, do you guys do any background checks on that at all? Not background checks on visitors. Okay. Um, so I'm just. So I was explaining to her, like, me giving up my ID doesn't necessarily tell you guys anything about, you know, any person who comes in and shows their ID, shows, shows, tells them nothing about your intentions, doesn't tell you anything about that person. You know what I mean? It, so if it's like a safety protocol, it doesn't make anyone safer. That's all I'm trying to say. But it looks like you have law enforcement here. Yeah, it does. How you doing, officer? How you doing? doing all right. Are you from the sheriff's office? I Can I get your uh, name and badge number, sir? Deputy Barnett. Thank you. My name's Zach. So I'm coming in here just trying to go into the public accessible areas. Yeah. Um, they have a policy in place where you have to give up your Fourth Amendment right, which I don't want. I'm not willing to do that because, yeah. you know, I believe in my Fourth Amendment. Um, I'm just trying to go into like this office, for example, over here to the right, which is a public office. But they're saying I need an appointment. But okay. to take pictures and video and doing First Amendment protected activity, you don't need an appointment for. So. Hey, Zachy boy. Uh, yeah, uh, your intent throughout this whole thing had, had nothing to do with official business, considering that uh, you were actually playing games with the uh, officer just a few minutes ago, trying to, uh, well, outrun them and everything like that. Uh, yeah, uh, if you actually had business in this place, like enrolling your child into a school, then uh, you would have done it already. But it's uh, clear here that... Uh, you don't have any official business, so uh, as they say, get the F out. That's where we're at, and they're 
the sergeant over here, um, she's like getting in my way and trying to keep, you know, restrict my freedom of uh, travel right. and just being immature. So I'm kind of glad you're here. Yeah. Um, so if you don't mind, if you can educate them, let them know that it's totally lawful what I'm doing. Um, it is lawful what you're doing, but you do have to check in. Well, that's a policy. Okay. And I told her I'm willing to sign. I'm willing to sign in, like give my name or whatever. But I don't want to show ID because okay, because that's a Fourth yeah, Amendment I got violation. You. I that's all. So their policy is their policy. They run the building, right? Well, it's a public building. It's not correct. Yeah. Correct. So you know, it's not a private it's open establishment. To the public, correct. But if their policy yeah. states that you have to check in. There are private areas. Because and I'm not going into those areas. Just so everyone's clear, I'm not going into any restricted areas or or uh, you know anywhere I'm not supposed to be. Yep. So. so everybody is required to check. But again, like as law enforcement, respectfully, you, you sworn an oath to the Constitution. Sir, hey, how you doing? What's your name? I'm Mark. Mark, I'm Zach. My name's Zach. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. What do you do here? I'm the Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources. Okay, great. My question is, why are you here? I'm here to take pictures and video. I'm engaged in constitutionally okay. protected activity, okay. gathering some content for a story here on the school. Are you issue. here to interview anybody here? No, 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 no. I wasn't even going to talk to anybody. Everyone who's come Have to me Have you provided is, ID to the officers? I'm not willing to show. I'm not willing to relinquish my Fourth Amendment. That's where we're okay. at. Well, we're asking you to leave. You can't you do that. If you won't provide ID, I'm not asking you whether you think I can. You I'm can't. Just letting you know. It's unlawful, okay. sir. You can't and I'm going to ask Lieutenant Martin to trespass you. Well, it's an unlawful. So you've got the assistant superintendent uh, telling you to leave here, and you're saying that it's unlawful, uh, not according to this statute up here, you moron. I mean, uh, you might want to check in on that, especially with your phony baloney lawyer. And you're open. You're opening the school up to a civil to civil litigation. I will you do what you, you need to and do. And I'll get your deposition. You okay. do what you need to do. Are you signing the trespass? Once she provides it to me, I'll Is your name going to be on it? Okay, so... Whatever she says. So yes. you'll you'll be in court and you'll be in court, right? So you lose your qualified immunity and I can sue you personally. I'm, not, I'm really not asking you that. I'm just telling you I'm that telling you that you you're violating purpose, my rights. We're asking you to leave. You're violating my first... No this is my First Amendment right. Hope you're happy violating a member of the public's civil rights. So I'll what I'm telling you is that someone that comes in this building... You need to provide ID. According to if policy. If you're here to register a child. What or law? Like what law is that? I'm not going to debate it with you. You're right. You're not but going you to because it's not a law. I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's not a law. Let me know if you're asking you to please leave the premises at this point. You've been trespassed. And if you don't leave, you're looking at a trespass at the warning. Okay. So if I don't leave right now, what's going to happen? You're going to be arrested for trespass. Right. And if I don't leave right this moment? You need to leave. You've been asked to leave by the school board. So if, so if I don't leave right now, I'll be arrested. Correct. Okay. So I'll go. Oh, but baby. Right of arrest. So I'll see you guys in court, including you. You guys are a bunch of tyrants. You need to learn the First Amendment of the Constitution. You guys will hear from me again. I promise you that. I do follow up. So is it just the inside or outside as well? What's that? The trespass. Is it inside or outside so as well? Whole parking lot. Whole parking lot? Yes, okay. Sir. You know, this is all about exercising our rights, the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. And you guys just violated not just my that's rights, that's but every, every American that's in the country. So. Oh, boo-hoo, Zacky boy. Go cry into your little pillow at home, you mama's boy. Uh, nobody here violated your rights. You just didn't understand what uh, the school uh, rules and laws and policies were to begin with. I mean, uh, throughout this video, I've shown them to you, and uh, well, I'm sure you'll never watch it or even be able to have the comprehension to understand one iota of uh, the laws that uh, keep the children safe within uh, the Florida school system, you dipshit mf -er. Because believe it or not, there are laws that protect the children, and they are definitely constitutional. So deal with it. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?